All right, well, this is the third time I've had to patch my wife's tire because she ran over a nail. It might have been this one, I don't know, but pretty clear hole here. So I'll show you how to fix it with this patch kit that I work like really well, or works really well. Use these small little mushrooms and this kit here. So I'll show you how to use it. First thing you're going to do is ream her out with this thing. So essentially you just find the hole, stick the reamer in there. Ream out the hole really well. Like that, make it nice and wide. While I got that plugged, you grab your gun here and you release it with this button here forces that plunger out spring-loaded so I got the little mushroom here one thing that's super important is you want to lubricate this is super important lubricate this guy and this guy essentially spray it inside that nozzle so well, squirt 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 well squirt there that way it'll help it go into the tire easier how you stick it in there is you push it like that with the head and you use this tool that comes with it force it in there like that so I don't know if you can see that but it's in there now you're gonna take the probe tool and the part that you use to poke that mushroom in there and you slide it over there thread it in place and what you're going to do is you're going to shove this into the hole so we're going to pull him out we're going to shove this in like that just like that so now the probe tool is in now you're going to unscrew this Again. So you start seeing it spin like that. Now you're just going to squeeze the handle. And what it's doing is it's forcing that mushroom into the hole. So you see the plunger here? It's only going to go down so far. I like to do it a couple times. Release it. Do it again. <clears throat> Do it again. All right, we've done that a few times. I'm just gonna slowly pull this out and see what we get. All right, the plug is in. See it right there, hanging off. Now what you want to do is grab onto it and pull it. Grab some needle nose pliers like this. Grab onto it and pull it up like that. What you're trying to do is get the mushroom head to seat. So if you think about it, the way that it's in there is like this. And so what you're trying to do is pull that up and get this lip right here to seat into the tire tire wall <clears throat> until you want to pull it until you feel a decent amount of resistance you don't want to pull too much or else you pull it out but a decent amount of resistance okay now you want to grab this little knife right here comes in the kit too it's very sharp and what you do is just flush cut it so stick the blade right up against the tire Do a nice flush cut. This is kind of hard to do while holding a phone, so let me get a better cut than that. There we go. Decently flush. All right, let's throw some air in there. Okay, so I actually messed up. You're supposed to put air in it first and then cut it, but 
that's okay, whatever. Anyways, I got about 40 pounds in the tire right now. And uh, put a little bit more in there, take it to 40. And then I'm gonna use my spray bottle here, just soap and water, and spray that to make sure it's not leaking. All right, we got our spray bottle here. Spray a little bit on there. We just wanna make sure there's no bubbles coming out, which I do not see any. Yeah, we're good to go. So I'll let it sit here for just a minute or two and make sure, but that was a pretty big hole. You can do it with the tire off. This is the third time I've done it, so I find it to be easier to do it with the tire off. First time I did it, I left the tire on the wheel. It was just a little bit of a pain in the butt because I was laying on the ground and it started raining. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you use this stop and go, the tire plunger kit. Got it off of Amazon, it was like 50 bucks. I usually use this here, but I was actually having some trouble with sealing them up and it's just a cheesy walmart kit i had in his emergency so i said you know what i'm gonna buy this glad i did because i've had three more flats since then we live on a super gravel road and uh yeah people just throw nails on the ground i guess so yeah anyways cheers that's how you do it